good day to you. This is Pastor Joey Pagadora, and this is Senior Moments to Remember. Thank you for joining us today. It is a pleasure to have you, and we're looking forward to having a great time with you as we worship the Lord together, read this word, and pray together. And so we would like to ask, if you have any prayer requests, please type them in the comment section below. We would love to pray with you. Or if you just want to say hi, let us know where you're at. It would be awesome to hear from you. Let's open in prayer. Father, I lift up to you, my brother and my sister, and I pray, God, that as we come into your presence, I pray, Lord, cover them with your protection. Cover them, Lord, with your presence. And wherever they may be, Lord, let your presence bring miracles into their lives. Bring healing, bring encouragement, bring strength, bring answers. Thank you for strengthening my brother, Lord, and thank you for strengthening my sister. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's come to the presence of God and worship Him. Good morning. Come and join me in worshiping our wonderful God. Moments to remember. Moments to remember. The righteous will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon. Moments to remember. Moments to remember. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the cause of our God. They will still bear fruit in old age, they will stay fresh and green to proclaim the Lord is upright, He's my rock, and there's no wickedness in Him. Moments to remember, moments to remember. Moments to remember, moments to remember, moments to remember. There is an endless song echoes in my soul. I hear the music ring. And though the storms may come, I am holding on. And to the rock I cling. How can I keep from singing your praise? How can I ever say enough? How amazing is your love? How can I keep from shouting your name? I know I am loved by the King And it makes my heart want to sing I will lift my eyes in the darkest night For I know my Savior lives And I will walk with you Knowing you see me through And sing the songs you give How can I keep from singing your praise? How can I ever say enough? How amazing is your love? How can I keep from shouting your name? I know I am loved by the King And it makes my heart want to sing I can sing in the troubled times Sing when I win, I can sing when I lose my step and I fall down again. I can sing cause you pick me up, sing cause you're there. I can sing cause you hear me Lord when I call to you in prayer. I can sing with my last breath. Sing, for I know that I sing 
with the angels and the saints around the throne. How can I keep from singing your praise? How can I ever say enough? How amazing is your love? How can I keep from shouting your name? I know I am loved by the King And it makes my heart I am loved by the King And it makes my heart I am loved by the King and it makes my heart want to sing. Amen. A blessed day to you. This is Pastor Joey and this is your wow moment. Wow meaning words of wisdom. And we know that wisdom is important to you because you have lived it. You have proven it and now you are enjoying the fruit of wisdom in your life. Our wow moment for today is coming from Proverbs chapter 8, verse 32. And now, O sons, listen to me. Blessed are those who keep my ways. Hear instruction and be wise, and do not neglect it. Blessed is the one who listens to me, watching daily at my gates, waiting beside my doors, for whoever finds me finds life, and obtains favor from the Lord. But he who fails to find me injures himself. All who hate me love death. Now, as we continue with our 30-day challenge, and as you are joining and reading and your family is also immersing into the Word of God in the first month of this year, we would like to just understand from the Word that the Word of God, that thing that we are reading, you know, is bringing life and bringing favor to us. Wisdom gives life, just like God brings life to us. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. What kind of a life is God wanting to give us through His Word? A life that has quality. Remember the verse that we just read? It says it's for our welfare. It's to give us future and a hope. People who have no hope, they have no excitement in life. People who have no hope, they have to be dragged into doing things in life, but not you. Because God has put hope in your heart. Because you know the promises of God in your heart. Your life is very much different. You're excited. You're eager. There's life flowing because of the Word of God. So when we find the Word of God, when we read the Word of God and we enjoy obeying the Word of God. We live the Word of God. What does it say? Proverbs 8.35, For whoever finds me finds life and obtains favor from the Lord. Now, some people during this quarantine, they just waited and waited and waited and wasted and wasted and wasted. But not you. Not our people. During the quarantine, we have so many people who finished their levels training. We have so many people joining, like you, the online services, our online programs. And because of that, you have allowed yourself to be filled with the Word of God. And because you have allowed yourself to be filled with the Word of God, good things are coming out. Good things are being born, being, being, becoming fruit in your life because of the Word of God that has been planted in your heart. Now, not only does it bear good fruit, but it also brings you favor. And favor is something that all of us need at this time. There are so many things that are happening right now that are beyond our control. But when the Lord grants favor to us, doors will be opened. Opportunities will come. Genesis chapter 6, verse 8, an example is Noah. But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. And what happened when he found favor in the eyes of the Lord? He got saved. The whole world was flooded. But Noah and his family, they were saved simply because he found favor in the eyes of God. Genesis chapter 39 verse 21. But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him steadfast love and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper 
of the prison because Joseph was with the Lord. He enjoyed favor. God gave favor. And because God gave favor, he received a certain treatment that he doesn't deserve and he couldn't earn on his own. But God gave favor and he received good treatment even when he was in prison. Exodus chapter 12, verse 36, And the Lord had given the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians so that they let them have what they asked. Thus they plundered the Egyptians. Because also of favor, God let the Israelites receive the wealth from the Egyptians. This is watching the wicked transfer their wealth to the righteous. And it happens when God also gives favor. So in this time of quarantine, there will be people that live wild. They live far away from the Lord and they're going to be living the consequences. And you just need to be on standby because these are days when we were taught the wealth of the wicked transferred to the righteous. But it will happen with the favor of God. And how again do you obtain favor from the Lord? When you find Him, when you find wisdom, when you find and follow the word of God. Now, this life of yours, you've lived it for decades and you've seen how the Lord has worked in your life, how good the Lord has been in your life. Now, as you read and you continue reading this 30-day challenge, the New Testament in 30 days, let it continue to motivate you. Let it continue to lead you. Let it continue to be a light shining in your path that you will follow. And when you follow the Word of God, favor comes upon you. This has been your wow moment and our prayer for you is that as you continue in wisdom, the days, the weeks, the months, and the years ahead of you will even be more fruitful. God bless you. Moments to remember. Hello po and welcome once again to our Memory Verse segment. Yes, I know you can do this. Our Memory Verse for today is found in John chapter 7, verse 38. It says, Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. Amen and amen. amen. Praise God for that word. Well, right now we will be getting help from one of you. So let's all welcome, from COP Batangas, Sister Irene Arguelles. Hello po! Hi! Sister Irene, do you think you can do this po? Yes, I can! Awesome! John 7 verse 38 Whoever believes in Him, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. Wow! Thank you so much po, Sister Irene, and thank you for joining her as she recited the verse. So right now, we will go to round one of our memory verse. Round one, we will remove a few words and you will supply the missing words. So here we go. John chapter 7 verse 38. Awesome! Thank you so much, Paul. Did you get that right? Well, if you got it right, you know what to type. Please type got it at the comment section. And while you're typing, we will now move to round two of our memory verse. Round two, we will remove more words and you will still supply the missing words. So here we go. John chapter 7 verse 38. Awesome! Did you get that right? If you did, please type got it at the comment section. Now everyone knows you got this one right. Awesome! So why don't we call back Sister Irene to help us out as we recite the verse one more time. Here we go! John 7 verse 38 Whoever believes in Him, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. Awesome! Thank you so much po, Sister Irene, and hello to all of our brothers and sisters there in COP Batangas. Until next time in our memory verse, God bless! Good 
morning everyone. This is Pastor Oin once again for our Say Amen segment. This time I'm going to share with you some stories in the New Testament of people who received miracles because they asked for mercy. Mark chapter 10 verses 46 to 52. And they came to Jericho. And as he was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a great crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind beggar, the son of Timaeus, was sitting by the roadside. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he cried out all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stopped and said, Call him. And they called the blind man, saying to him, Take heart, get up, he is calling you. And throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. And Jesus said to him, What do you want me to do for you? And the blind man said to him, Rabbi, let me recover my sight. And Jesus said to him, Go your way, your faith has made you well. And immediately he recovered his sight and followed him on the way. Bartimaeus was a blind beggar. And being blind, he cannot see directly where Jesus was. He was just relying on how loud he shouted in order to be heard. His opportunity came when Jesus asked him what he wanted Jesus do to him. He couldn't have asked Jesus for money or food so that he can have something to eat. But because he heard that it was Jesus, the son of David, he had faith that Jesus can do more than giving him food and money. We can also see here that he was determined and very insisting to receive from Jesus. Since he was with the crowd, he has a courage to shout, to catch the attention of Jesus. Though there are people um, telling him to stop instead of being silent, he shouted all the more. And when he heard that he was asked to come to Jesus, he immediately jumped up and tell Jesus what he wanted. Because he, first, he persisted, he received his healing. Another group of people who received healing when they cried for mercy were the two blind men. They experienced the same thing. The crowd want, wanted them also to stop but they did not listen to the crowd they insisted on crying out to jesus they only stopped when they received their healing matthew 20 verses 30 to 31 and behold there were two blind men sitting by the roadside and when they heard that jesus was passing by they cried out lord have mercy on us son of david the crowd rebuked them, telling them to be silent, but they cried out all the more, Lord, have mercy on us, son of David. Another story, there are ten lepers. They cried out for Jesus for mercy, and they received healing in their bodies. Luke chapter 17, verses 12 to 14. And as he entered a village, he was met by ten lepers who stood at a distance and lifted up their voices, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, Go, show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. Let us learn from these stories. We cannot just come to Jesus because we learn from somebody that he, Jesus can heal. Or we cannot ask Jesus for mercy because baka sakali, we can be healed. We can come to Jesus for, and ask for mercy, for mercy because we believe that Jesus can heal us. Because we know that He is a merciful God. So whatever need we have, we will just come to Jesus and ask for mercy because Jesus has no respecter of, of person. Psalms 145 verse 9, The Lord is good to all and His mercy is over all that He has made. This is your Say Amen segment for the day. God bless you. Good morning! Welcome to Golden Hour. I'm Pastora Babes. It's time to sing along with me. Come on, let's sing How Good It Is. How good it is to give thanks unto the Lord. How good it is to give thanks unto our God. Oh, we hear. 
Binding up their wounds It is good to bless His holy name I'm gonna bless His name How good it is to give thanks unto the Lord How good it is to give thanks unto our God Oh, we Binding up their wounds It is good to bless His holy name I'm gonna bless His name Oh, we give thanks unto our Savior And with a heart of gratitude we give Him praise His mercy shall And I will worship Him all of my days. How good it is to give thanks unto the Lord. How good it is to give thanks unto our God. Oh, He heals the brokenhearted, binding up their wounds. It is good. To bless His holy name I'm gonna bless His name Oh, we give thanks Unto our Savior And with a heart of gratitude We give Him praise His mercy shall And I will worship Him all of my days. How good it is to give thanks unto the Lord. How good it is to give thanks unto our God. Oh, we heal the brokenhearted, binding up their wounds. It is good. Bless His holy name. I'm gonna bless His name. I'm gonna bless His name. I'm gonna bless His name. Amen. Till the next time. God bless. Moments to remember. Hello. My name is Pastor Tien Gachalian and welcome to our prayer time. Thank you so much for joining us today and for always sharing your prayer request with us. It is always a great joy to pray for you and see your prayers being answered. So how do we pray? Fervently and with joy. Let us all pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus. And we are so honored, O God. We are so grateful. We are so glad to be in your presence today. Because we know, God, that in your presence there is fullness of joy. Father, right now we lift up to you the prayer needs of your people. Thank you for answering them. Thank you for being gracious to us, O God. For Sister Annie Valdez, we are believing, Lord, for her complete healing of her arms, of her legs. Thank you, Jesus, that by your wounds, Sister Annie has been healed. We declare quick restoration in your powerful name. And also, God, for Brother Val Valentino. Thank you, God, for more clients in his business. Thank you, Lord, that you will crown his year with your bountiful harvest. That 2021 will be a better year for his business, O oh God. As you bless the work of his hands, O oh God, as you cause him to have more clients, Thank you that He will give back and bring back all the glory to your name. That you will put a distinction between your people and those who do not belong to you. That in the industry where Brother Val is working right now, where his business is, 
you will grant him the favor you will grant him and bless him the, the all the work of his hands and also god for sister vicky badilio thank you lord for the wisdom for the knowledge that she needs in order for her to meet all her requirements in the team ministry thank you lord that you will bless her father god with retentive memory and you will cause her oh god to receive favor that she'll be able to submit all her requirements on time and with excellence in jesus name and lastly god for sister minda manalo thank you god for bringing complete healing Thank you, Lord, for the strength, O oh Lord God, for her to have normal blood pressure, that her sugar, her cholesterol level will normalize. Thank you, God, that even right now you are touching her right eye and causing this cataract to be gone and be completely healed. Thank you, Lord, that you will restore Sister Minda's health in its original condition. We thank you, God, for answering her prayers, for touching her body, and causing her to walk from strength to strength. We give you praise, O oh God, and we are claiming for answered prayers because we know that you are good, you are faithful, and you will always grant the desires of the hearts of your people for your own glory. We love you, God. All these things we ask in Jesus' powerful name. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining us today. We'll see you again tomorrow for another time of prayer. Thank you so much for joining us today. It has been a pleasure to have you and we're looking forward to having you join us again tomorrow for another episode of Senior Moments to Remember. Before we continue, we'd like to ask if you have any friend or relative or anyone that you know that you think will be encouraged by this program, send them the link. Or maybe you can ask one of your apo to help you send the link so that they themselves will also be encouraged with our program. So before we close in prayer, if you have any prayer requests, please type them in the comment section below. Or if you have any testimony of anything good that the Lord has done in your life, please share it with us and we would love to rejoice with you. Let's close in prayer. Father, thank you so much for a wonderful time together. And I lift up to you, my brother and my sister, as they go on their day, Lord, let it be blessed by your touch in their bodies, in their hearts, strengthening them, encouraging them, leading them, guiding them. Just let your reality lead them, O God. Thank you so much, O God, for our blessed and wonderful time together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you tomorrow for another episode of Senior Moments to Remember. God bless you. Moments to remember.